rain, hail or shine, nothing can stop us on our march against cancer. So far, we've covered over 500 kilometers at 3,000 meters altitude through the Perth Hills and the WA Desert. There's been 46 degree days and today the elements are not in our favor. But Steph, as I just said, nothing can stop us because we are doing it for people like Nick, a young Australian man who lost his mum just seven days ago to cancer. People like that, we are going to try and absolute guts out, irrespective of the conditions. Nick, we're proud of you and we're fighting for you today. Let's get after it. Cool. Senator gave me nine and a half years at the law court. Yeah. I don't know. I think, like, Jeez, I must have paid the senator to lock you up. <laughs> a local called Stewie, he told us three days ago that it hasn't rained in Perth or WA for over six months, and you wouldn't believe it. It's absolutely shitting down. I'm getting dirtier and dirtier by the day. The holy juice though, the holy cream, saving me. Sabbath. It's piecing my leg together. <laughs> I think it's probably making it worse somehow. Can you check that over here as well? Got him. You wanna smell this joke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does not smell nice. Oh God. Far out. Leg man, this leg. Look. I did think we were going to get oh. rain on this trip. And I knew it was going to shit down on us. But not in WA. <laughs> of all states, how can we get rain on in WA? On the dirtiest road in the history of mankind. Oh. Love it. <laughs> yeah, they're not feeling good. And I don't think this rain is going to be doing me any favours, to be honest. The back of my right foot, the blister, is about the size of two fifty cent coins put together. Um, so yeah, it's not looking good. It is day 15 of running and walking across Australia. And today we're facing the ultimate element of rain in the WA desert. Now today is dedicated to a young Aussie named Nick. Seven days ago, literally seven days ago, his mum passed away through stage four bowel cancer. Nick, brother, we're thinking of your mum up there. And I know it's raining today, but we are going to have the biggest crack ever for you, brother. We're proud of you. Keep fighting. We'll be thinking of you every step of the way. Let's say today, a Let's good go. day. Let's go. We've done three Ks already. Today's all about efficiency. We're getting after it in this rain. Nothing can stop us right now. We are going to have the biggest dip out here. I hope it fucking storms. I hope the thunder brings down. And we're gonna get after it, Let's bring down the thunder! Thirteen kilometers in, and these conditions just aren't favoring us today, Locke. They're not favoring us, but we said before that the motto of the day is scrap. Now, if you live in Australia, obviously you know your footy. It's equivalent to one of those dirty ass days where you have to get down dirty, bother the pack, and just bomb it long. Exactly right. We're getting down and we're getting dirty today. And Nick, it's dedicated to you. We're fighting hard, brother. We're getting after it today. We don't give a shit about the conditions. Today is about getting down and dirty, and we love every bit of it. We absolutely love this shit. After the run today, you'll find me rolling around in the mud, because I fuck it, every single bit of it. No showers for the next four days as well. Even better. Let's go, baby. Woo! 
first half marathon of the day completed. Don't ask how it was. We're absolutely filthy. We're getting on our knees and we're fighting for everyone in Pakistan. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. If you want to see what a cooked leg looks like after a half marathon done in the wet. Oh, that was fucking grim. <laughs> this is why I said the rain's so bad. That is grim. And this is starting to, look at that. It's just starting to chip away. Oh. This rain, not doing me any favors. Dry socks today. Oh, it's like dirty water as well. <laughs> It is absolutely pissing down. It's not doing our feet any favors right now, Lock. My feet, just for reference, are so soft. Have a look at my hands. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Right. My hands and my feet are the same. They are so soft right now. But no matter what, we are going to have the biggest crack and continue on today. We are two brothers out in the Perth desert, giving it our absolute all right now. Let's go, baby. Day 15, locked and loaded, baby. 31 and a bit Ks. Let's go. We absolutely smashed it out against all odds and the elements, but every day we're building that mindset. And today we brought down the thunder and we're fighting for everyone worldwide, impacted by cancer. Today was dedicated to you, Nick. We're doing it for you, brother. Another day. It's just another day. Another 85 to go. Day 15 of running and walking across Australia complete. Out in the elements today, we're back in the warm van. And we're going to spend the time now to thank everybody for the support. We're extremely grateful. We just raised $50,000 14 days into our run and walk, which was 50% of our overall goal of 100000 So we're absolutely stoked with this. And the support so far has been lovely. We are so grateful for everybody back at home. You really are the true heroes. So the last 10 days between the 15th and 25th of February, we've got the top donations. So first of all, $200 donated. We're going to spend the time now to thank all those. So, Trent Shires, Candace Prince, we've got Mark Houston, Mason Coad, Tom Walker, Catherine Mayfield, Laura Hillard, Kata Hunt, Alice Green, David Flanagan, Jan DeWith, Amy Knight, Seren Haig. Beautiful. Thank you for all those people who donated $200. Let's go. Now, $250. These are the big dogs out there. So these are absolutely life-changing donations. We have, sorry if I pronounce these wrong, by the way. Adrian Mezimeki, Marcus White, Ryan Blackmore, and Christian Meyer. Much love. And one $300 donation. Oof, bringing in the storm. Jason Mulu Hill. I've definitely pronounced that wrong, brother, but thank you. We love you. 250 and $300 is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to finish it off with the $500. Sorry that I'm Steve. struggling to read here, but there's a flashlight in my eyes. So it's putting me off a little bit, but I'm getting through it. So Sonia, really $500. Incredible. Wow. Thank you, Sonia. Wow. We had D Lewis and Sharon Harrod. Thank you so much for donating $500. This is incredible. This is going to go towards life-saving cancer research. Stay tuned for episode five. There is an epic challenge coming and please drop a like below. We have never reached 1,000 likes on a video. That would mean the world and it would push it out further so more people can hopefully help us all raise cancer awareness. Also, please subscribe. Road 10,000 subscribers. Road to 10K, let's hit it up.